hope you don't mind me meeting you outside the Billy Doll Carter. No. Did you win? No. I'm sorry. So am I. Who were you playing? Linda Preston. Linda Preston? I see. Ah, well, you'd best be... Well, it's Jenny Good Carter. I mean, does she hold the billiard cue proper? Oh, aye. And she's red hot on the cushions, too. I see. You've never asked me to be red hot on the cushions, Carter. No. And I never asked you to chalk the end of me cue, neither. You never... What did your mother say about us breaking off the engagement? It's met her badly. She's gone to bed. So is my Auntie Lil. I think she's come out in sympathy. Oh, well, I could come round and help you out if you want, Carter. I, I can iron your string vests and I can do all the cooking. Now, do you like real wine with egg and chips? No, we'll manage on our own, child. The same. Well, you could come round to our house for your supper. We're having sheep's brains. Uh, no, I'm playing pitch and put tonight. With, um... Linda Preston, that's right. Well, then you might as well know it. Know what? I'm sorry. What for? I'm sorry for being so hasty and breaking off the engagement. I just flew off the handle. I didn't know what I was saying. What with all the worry of saving up and trying to get you interested in draft excluders and waste disposal units and... Oh, God. to say. I poured my heart out to you. I, I've humbled myself in front of you and all you can say is I will. Mm. I will. Mm. Oh, Carter. Woman, we're busy. Don't be so impatient. Now, don't be so inconsiderate. Women. They've no idea how to behave when they're sick. Well, they don't get as much practice as what we do, Les. <laughs> it's a well known medical fact is that men are more prone to sickness than what women are. <clears throat> Except on bank holidays and works weeks, of course. Uh, it's the way nature made us. I mean, men are born to be martyrs. Women are born to be bombastic. That's why they never get sick. The germs are frightened to death of them. Liz, <laughs> where's me calf's foot jelly? Where's Lil's young kit? Hey, can I smell someone burning? You've not dropped cinders on dog again, have ya? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I lost all enjoyment out of being sick once my mother died. Why is that? Yeah, because she pampered me. She didn't bully me like what a wife does when you're poorly. She treated me more like, more like a, a pet dog what's been run over by a trolley bus. Uh, that's efficacious, is that? Yeah, well, nothing but too much trouble for my mother when I was poorly. When I went down to Bookies, she wouldn't let me lift a finger. She, she had even licked indelible pencil for me before I wrote out my bet. <laughs> What a wonderful woman. And when I took to my bed again after racing were over, she'd be dashing hither and thither. She'd be first in queue at jug and bottle. She'd run all the way back from chippy, so cheese and onion pies was piping up. And I'd only to stand on top of stairs and bellow once, and she'd be in that bedroom, hurling coal on fire like chief stoker on Mauritania. <laughs> I used to say to her, and say, Mother, you know, all this running around, it's, it's enough to make me feel quite poorly. Uh, women are all right when they're mothers. It's when they become wives and sweethearts, that's when they're upsets him. True. 
when I was born, my mother used to cook for me as if I were aga can. Brown bread and butter with crust cut off, condensed milk sandwiches any time at day or night. <laughs> and for tea, a cod steak steamed in milk between two enamel plates. <laughs>